What's going on guys? So this is the video to show you how to do weigh-ins, measurements, and pictures for my program. All right, so first up is pictures. When you're gonna do your pictures, I want three different poses. Well, it's the same pose in two different ways in one different pose. Um, but you're gonna take pictures of this. Now, when you take your pictures, make sure you're wearing the same clothes every time you take a picture in the same spot of your house with the same lighting in the same distance from the camera. That really makes a big difference. If you're all the way back here and you take pictures the first time and then the next time you're all the way up here and take your pictures, it will make a big difference. So make sure in the closer to the camera, the better. I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but I'm telling you, as you move through the program, you will be so glad to have the beginning pictures and then the after pictures. And the closer you are, the easier it is for us to see the changes in your composition and your definition. So same clothing, same lighting, same positioning, same distance from camera um, every time, okay? So your first one is going to be, and I know you can't see me, but I wanna see you full body, shoulder to toes or head to toes, and you're gonna hold your hands up like this, okay? That's your first pose and look at the camera. Second pose, out to the side, profile pick, looking straight ahead, arms straight out. Again, head to toes. Third is head to toes, just in reverse, like this, arms up so that I can see your back, okay? Females, I like you in a sports bra and tight shorts. If you're not comfortable with that, then I want you in a super tight tank top and super tight shorts. Guys, I like you in a pair of the shortest shorts that you have, the tightest pair of shorts and no top, okay? So there's your pictures. Weigh-ins. You are gonna weigh in every day, every morning. It's what we call your dry weight, okay? So first thing in the morning, before you've had anything to eat or drink, after you've gone to the bathroom, preferably naked, okay? And the reason for that is if one morning you're wearing flannel pajamas and then the next morning you're wearing just a t-shirt and shorts, that can affect the scale that little bit. So we want everything as consistent as possible. So if you're naked, you're naked, all right? So first thing in the morning, before you've had anything to eat or drink, and after you've gone to the bathroom and naked on the scale every day. And then you're going to every seven days, add up your weight over those seven days, divide it by seven, and then give me the average. I want your weekly average with your weigh-ins, okay? All right, third and final are measurements. You need to get yourself a little measuring tape like this. They're like a dollar, anywhere, everywhere, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, anywhere. You can find one of these, okay? And you're gonna just do three places. We're gonna do our shoulders, our waist, and our hips. So you wanna do this in front of a mirror so that you can turn sideways to make sure that your tape is nice and straight across you so that your measurements are as accurate as possible. So again, measurements are gonna be done one day of the week, the same day, so pick one day, whether it's Wednesday, Saturday, whatever. And just like your weigh-ins, you're gonna do it the same. It's gonna be dry. So first thing in the morning, after you've gone to the bathroom, before you had anything to eat or drink, and naked, okay? All right, so shoulders, you're gonna go around the broadest part of your shoulder, and you're gonna take the tape and just lay it across you. Do not pull it tight. And then this is where I wanna look in the mirror so that I can see that my tape is nice and straight and it's not sagging in the back like this when I take my measurement, okay? So get it nice and straight, brightest, broadest part of the shoulder, lay it loosely on you and take your measurement, okay? Next is your belly. You're gonna see my big pregnant belly taking measurements and I gotta turn my camera a little bit. Okay, so belly, you're gonna find your belly button and you're gonna lay the tape right across the belly button. Again, turn in the mirror to make sure everything is nice and straight all the way across. Lay it across, do not pull it tight and get your read for your belly button, okay? Hips. So you're gonna, let me adjust my camera one more time, hips. Hips, you're gonna stand with your feet all the way together, okay? So if one time I was standing shoulder width apart, the next time I'm standing a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, that is going to affect my hips. So I wanna stand with my feet all the way together and eliminate any errors as possible. I'm gonna take that tape and I'm gonna go around the widest part, the widest part of my butt and my hips. And I'm gonna take that tape 
and go around and take my measurement, okay? All the way around. And again, use your mirror to make sure you're nice and straight and even all the way around and then get your measurement, all right? So those are your three places. Be as consistent as possible with it for your reads. And this is what you're gonna turn into me every single week, all right?